probably the most important thing that I want to make sure that I tell you is communication is key. Um, if you're having issues as far as understanding the math, if you're having issues at home um, because someone got COVID, um, maybe, um, I don't know, there's so many different things that can come up. But more important than anything, please communicate with me so that I can either help or offer a solution or whatever, all right? But talk to me. Um, don't wait to the very, very last minute. Um, second, this particular quarter, I will not be accepting any assignments done in Cami. Yeah, for those of you that are doing that, it's like a way to type up assignments. I would rather it be um, handwritten, please. Um, screenshots. If I ask you to submit a screenshot of a score in something, like maybe I have you go do something in Delta Math and I say, hey, this time, can you submit a screenshot? It has to include your name. If it doesn't include your name and your score, I'm not going to give you credit because I don't know where you got that screenshot. Um, when I grade your assignments, um, because I do hand grade them all, they are worth 10 points. Um, if you get 10, it means it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. If you get a nine, which is still an A, you guys, if you get a nine, it means go back and look at my notations. It means I wrote something on there that I really want to make sure you see. So you got an A, but I want you to check it out. Um, if it's less than nine, um, sometimes I'll let you redo it for full credit and sometimes I won't. You're going to need to go and check the like notations in Schoology. Um, I don't know if they show up in Infinite Campus, but it may say fix and resubmit for full credit. Maybe you're happy with an eight. Maybe you're happy with a seven. You're not required to fix and resubmit. I'm just giving you an option. Uh, when you submit worksheets, um, I really, I'm like begging, please submit them in either JPEG or PDF form. Um, and the reason is that I actually grade your worksheets um, and I mark them up. Like you'll actually get them back if you look back at them with, with my marks on them. Um, they won't be graded on completion. Um, they'll be graded on a bit of correctness. So if you turn something in that's completely wrong, you can expect to get no points. Um, so you're going to have to actually try. It's not just like, oh, I turned it in, I get credit. Um, you need to make sure that those are actually, you know, for the most part, correct. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what a typical week is going to look like in this class. Um, on Monday around 8 a.m., everything will get pushed out for the entire week in Schoology. There'll be videos there, there'll be assessments there, there'll be um, Google Forms there, there'll be worksheets there, everything. And there will be due dates all throughout the week. So there'll be something due on Monday, there'll be something due on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. all through the week. You are always welcome to turn things in early, um, but I don't take things late, all right? So please work ahead if you can. Um, it's scheduled out nice and, and a reasonable amount per day. Um, I do have students, though, that want to get it all done on Monday so they can enjoy the rest of their week, and that's fine, too. Uh, for those of you that are on campus, um, that time will be used to just ask me questions. Um, like, I won't actually be teaching you. Everything will already be there in Schoology, um, but just come with questions. Those of you at home, if you have questions, you just um, get on my Zoom. So this quarter, um, apparently the district has changed some policies. So I am allowed now to require that you show up to Zooms with your cameras on. Um, so at the beginning of our periods, I will be doing so. Um, I will be taking roll at that time. We'll be doing a warm up. Um, I don't think that we're going to be staying the entire hour or whatever our period is. Um, more than anything, it's so that I know that you're there, I can actually talk to you, I can take some attendance, I can answer questions, um, and uh, yeah, kind of get to know you a little bit better this quarter than I did the first. Um, Zooms will be at the very beginning of the period, um, and that's when I will take roll. Okay, um, no Wi-Fi, okay? When you email me from your phone, um, that you couldn't turn something in because you don't have Wi-Fi, there's a Schoology app, okay? So please download the Schoology app. If you need to submit something, you can literally take a picture with your phone and submit it that way. No Wi-Fi necessary. Uh, let's see, um, my dog died, okay? Please take care of your dogs. Make sure that they're healthy, they're okay. 
Um, maybe work ahead if you think that your dog is ill and potentially could come to a horrible demise. Let's see. Um, oh, this one was good. I went on vacation and couldn't do my homework. Yeah, no, not gonna take that excuse, thank you. Um, can I get extra time? Well, I post everything on Monday, so um, maybe you should start working ahead instead of waiting to the very, very last minute. Um, oh, this one's kind of important. Some of the tones of emails that I'm getting from students are really like demanding. For example, this was an email that I got. Um, I really felt like I understood the concept and Delta Math graded it too hard, but I know I understand it, so change my grade. Um, the more you demand like that, the less I really wanna help you. It, a, a please and a thank you go a really long way. Um, I just wanna let you know that emails will get answered during school hours. Um, this last quarter, I amazingly got so many emails at like 11 p.m., 12 p.m., 1 a.m. Um, I'm sleeping at that point. Um, so if you're not getting an email back and it's not, let's say, between 7 and maybe 2 p.m., um, expect a response the next day.